all right hi guys this is shami blog uj of course most of you know me and today i have a guest who is none other than emma i know most of you know him he was once a youtuber if not once still up to date he's still abiba but he has a story it's an emotional story we want to go deep and know what happened to him because for the past few months he has been lost off internet and today i got a chance to meet him well uh Thank you so much Welcome. for coming me here. How are you, Shami? I'm good. That's You're looking friends. good. Thank you. It's been long. Yeah, it's been long. Almost, I think, one and a half years. Yeah. That took 12 months and another six months. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Now, I, I, I'm grateful to be hosted by Shami. Shami is my friend. We've been doing content for a long time. And my name is Waswa Emma. For the viewers, you know me, of course. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, for the viewers, I'm Waswa Emma. Um, and I've been a YouTuber in Uganda for almost five years. I've built very many channels. Yeah. Yeah. So there's Waswa Emma, my YouTube channel. There's another channel called Uganda Lifestyle. I also had to do it, but I had to quit. Yeah, as yes, she, she has told you, I've been having so many problems. That's me. So Emma, like, what happened? You got lost. I got lost yeah. for sure. It's a very long story. I don't even know where to start it from and where to end it from. But you guys, if I cry on the video, you know, just take it the way it is because my story is a bit sad and uh, I really feel bad about what happened to me. No one could wish to go through what I've been going through, the pain, the depression, the abuse and everything. Eh? Yeah, so, for my case, as you've asked, um, I remember last featured on YouTube, it was 2022. 20, Mm. around December there so but because I, I had I was taken up by uh, a lot of works I used to do my projects you remember my project yeah, yeah. the one for labor company labor. I had a, 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 a tours and travel company for picking people from the airport and I looked at the other works I do uh, but the biggest problem I got was through the labor company mm. so I had an agency where I could source, uh, how do you call people who are human resource, sourcing workers for other companies. Yeah. You be, you've ever been abroad, you know what I mean. Yeah, I if I talk about the exploitation in Uganda, you know that yeah, very well. Yeah. You can reason it with it. So, I we have agent, in, in that business, we always have agents and the main, the, companies. The main companies. So the agents we source for them. The main company. Now that's where my problem started from. I've been doing it for the last five years, it has been successful, but this time around I worked with very wrong people who caused a lot of problems for me. Mm. So, from there, I'll just be brief. In 2022, it was a very unlucky year. I think many of my friends faced problems in the same labor companies, mm. but as among them. So I had so many clients who were dealing up with my company to, because I could give them to companies to get commission, and there's money in labor. In yeah, Uganda, there's, there's a lot of money yeah. that business but the business is not protected at all we are not protected as the ones who do that the exploitation and since i was a brand people know me it's easy to get customers easy to convince them i'm getting it mm. uh and i've been taking them giving them those companies so you know people always trust brands i'm sure you have so many people trust you yeah. Shami, yeah, it's a because you you are a brand who trust you know so the trust of you having numbers on youtube so i had them but unfortunately i made this the way 2022 when you had the world cup it was one of the worst moments in labor mm. very many companies lost money including me so i lost a lot of money almost thirty thousand us dollars i had to lose it almost thirty thousand us dollars that's a lot of money that is hard cash from the company leave alone my own personal money from the account mm. you see you remember the beast I had, the monster? Yeah, 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 yeah. That big bike. I still saved you with that name. <laughs> the African beast. That's why people started calling me the beast because of that. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that whatever, the, that the bike, the big one. It was almost 30 million. That is around uh, uh, 4,000 USD. That's how much I bought it. I lost it. I lost my car. I lost my cameras. All in the name of paying back people. You know, compensating. Eh? Mm. that pain so but I, I i had to run bankrupt because i lost everything 
now since I, uh, I wasn't working, I couldn't create content. My company was closed. Everything had to shut down. Mm. Now I became the poorest. Don't you see me? <laughs> I, used to be, I used to be a very handsome guy. You remember yeah, those yeah, days. Right. But now, if you look at me, I'm like a mad person. It's just because of Guys, poverty. I'm going to put for you a photo of Emma right here. Mm. He was the most handsome <laughs> guy. But I remember when I met you at Garuga. At Garuga, yeah. when you had a picnic. Yeah, that yes. was my first time meeting you. Yeah. So I used to be a good guy, friendly guy, doing charity on YouTube, very many things. So that's where even I got uh, the name from doing charity and helping others. You know me with charity, I'm so I'm so friendly to people. So, but all vanished away after vanishing out. You know what it means? Yeah. Maybe you have never been in a poor situation. I've been there. I've struggled. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in that kind of uh, misery, running here and there, I had to quit. From YouTube. That's why I had to start living a very miserable life. Deep in the villages, here you found me. Where we are seated, someone can be seeing these marbles. It's just my friend's place. Where I'm just, I just had to carry to our friend's place to see that we have at least a decent place. A decent place. <laughs> <laughs> you see, so that is it, members. But life is just hard and difficult. However, I'm still alive and I'm struggling. Any person who has been a star, yeah. I'm very sure you go through a lot like depression. How has been that side? Have you got in, have you got depressed within the process or first and foremost, let me tell you something. The day you become a star or you get you get numbers and you lose those numbers, that's when you get to know that this world is real. Let me tell you uh, in this YouTube, the work we are doing as YouTubers or uh, business concerning numbers. Your DMs are always flooded. Hmm? Mm. People always come to your social with so many friends. For the girls, men, husbands, you know, even us boys, people come. To you. So get friends, donations, free things, very many things. Now, at the moment you lose numbers because for my case, my clients start to go. Right, we'll be back from that short break. Yeah, because yeah. it's windy since we're outside. Mm. And yeah, Emma, back to you. Okay. Uh, I was still explaining. You know, guys, uh, if you go into that situation whereby uh, your name is tarnished, my friend, the mm. dead will call you a thief. It's one of the worst moments. Mm. So people had to call on the internet, my clients, because they were victims. Mm. And uh, I wasn't annoyed of them because they had to go and look for justice and maybe to look for assistance. So they had to come out and start Emma this, Emma that, Emma this, you know. So I was published on the internet, everywhere, on TikTok, man. Mm. That's when I got to know that I was very powerful. Because I trended. You trended like almost. wildfire. <laughs> <laughs> you used to call me. Yeah. Actually, you're the only person by that time who, who at least who knew, at least about me. Emma used to, 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 to look for me. Yeah. He used one of my brothers, you know. Yeah. So. But man, it was just difficult. Uh, I reached an extent of sitting at this and seeing fences and walls everywhere. Do you, you know what it, what it means seeing a dark end? You look at this side, there's no future. Look at this side, there's no future. Uh, if your name is tarnished, you start fearing people. Mm -hmm. I had to start fearing people. I like that confidence in public, you see. Because everyone on the internet comments were like comments. So it's like people can just really forget it's like this. I've been a nice guy since 2019 on the internet, but not just with a blink of an eye. Everyone is like, Emma, it will be. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, that thing tortured me seriously. And I hated every, everything, I hated everyone. I just had to sit down alone. Uh, yeah, I even never cried. I didn't even cry because my pain was even beyond crying. Mm. I'm getting it. So, uh, that poverty, I was in a state of whereby there's no food, no money, no friends, no electricity, no internet. We was had to shift to the village and start saying with villagers. I don't mean that the village is, is bad, mm. but it depends on if you're in a village, what are you doing in a village? Yeah. What have you gone for? Now my issue to be in the village was to, to sit back 
maybe see how I start up life. Actually, I had hated myself. So we stayed in a, in a situation whereby I almost committed suicide by that time. I feel like I'm useless in this world. There's nothing I can do for myself. Listen, I'm becoming a bad guy. I was like, no, 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 no. This is not Emma. So I stayed in that kind of life for almost a year. Whereby, you have to look for everything for your own. Like, being in a new area where you have no friends, you are alone, as a stranger, you have to look for food, you have to look for water, where to sleep. No job. So I couldn't be moving to every place because I used to fear people. Hey. Before those days of, of running off, people could say, hey, a guy with no yeah. That's the guy we're looking for. Oh, oh you faced that. Man, that's the guy you've been talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait. And your pictures were everywhere. Everywhere. You know, if you go to internet and then just write my name, there's only one person. There's one else. Because I think in Uganda here, uh, I'm the only person on internet. I think I'm the person with the most videos on internet. Because I last knew on Ugandan Lifestyle, when I was working with the Ugandan Lifestyle YouTube channel, we had around uh, 10,000 videos on internet. We had uploaded 10,000. So whenever you, 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 you too much speak your name on internet, mm. the algorithm picks you. Mm. So I was, all, because I used to be featuring on, in, in almost 10 videos a day. So just imagine, 10 videos times 360 days of the year. How many videos are those? So you could just go about Waswa Emma, and I was like, you're no guy. He's mm. the guy, he's the guy. So, man, I had to leave people aside. I had to leave my friends, everyone. I had to put, to put them aside so that I could survive. Now, working, there was no work to do. The only work I had was to start being a porter. A porter is someone who helps in construction. Not a builder, mm. a porter. Someone, a boy boy, someone who carries uh, bricks. You know, the porter at the site you work is to carry bricks, mixing sand, the water. Where is that, you know? Send this one, you know. Mm. And the money you get is not even half of what the, the, the builders get. Mm. So, in our Uganda here, a porter on an average gets around 15,000. That is around five or four dollars. Now with this high inflation, you see. So how could I survive? So I used to work every day as a porter. Not you see, I look so weak. Yeah. But I had to start working on that issue. I was used to pressing buttons every time. You see. So I had to start working to get breakfast for myself, lunch, supper, to get medication. Uh, everything was on me. Now sleeping, accommodation was the biggest problem. I had nowhere to stay, to sleep. The only solution for me was to sleep at the site. Because they wanted someone to... to Take start, care of the site. To man up the site. Not during any time. Yeah, at night. At night. So my boss, he's called Mr. Roman. He had to uh, give me a small shelter. You know this area is too hot where we stay. So I had to start sleeping there. I was a good boy to him. So they basically took care of me at least a small extent. So that one issues concerning sleeping was sorted. Sleeping at the site, unfinished site. So I used to be there. And later on I, I became used. Now how can someone handle that depression? Because I survived it. Now, for that case, when I accepted that life has changed, because if you don't accept that life has changed, you you may end up dying. You will get heart attack. You will get pressure. You will lose your mind. But I have to accept that now. I'm on a zero. I don't have a car. No money. No family. No girlfriends. No friends. <laughs> I'm getting it. Yeah. I'm alone in this world. Because uh, Abaganda, the Baganda sent Bangalore. Yeah, yeah. So 
which means that they people relate or love that one who is available and who can provide to them. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so if you get problems, very many will go away because you use this. Now, in, in most of the situations, you always remain with your mother. Not every mother. Yeah, not every mother. <laughs> uh, because even some mothers hate <laughs> yeah, poor kids. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but some mothers can stay. So some few people had to remain from on my side. Some few. But they weren't well off. But at least they stayed there too. Psychologically help me survive the situation. Mm. Yeah. So just know it's been hard. All along. Like Compared to the number of friends you had, mm. because I remember one time you celebrated your birthday and you had over ten kids. Yes. Are all those friends still there? Are they still standing with you? Uh, what I can talk about friends is only one thing. As I told you that uh, people are like, are like dogs. If you want a dog to be close to you, give it what give it, it wants. Right. So, me, I used to give too much to people. Used to know me. Yeah. Now, in that situation, people used to come to, to bring back. You give, they bring back. That's why you saw on my birthday, I got over 10 cakes. Now those friends, of course they are there. Hi Emma, how are you? But now in this situation I've been I've been I've been residing. This is how I got to know that uh, people don't have time for us. Whereby you can call a friend and you tell her how you Bambi, come and tell me this. That's why you don't know that person has no time. You know what, I'm busy, this, blah, X, Y, Z. Then excuses will be like excuses. But then there's no ease of, uh, of being a, a star, having a job, having the money, being, uh, you know, having a good person, being a good person. It, it, would be, it, it just could be a call away. Hi, Shami. Hello, Emma. Where are you? Yeah. Okay. Even we just call you. Emma, you're home. I come and see you. So people hated me. Even people blocked me from WhatsApp. Most of my friends blocked me. Whereby someone, not even knowing you, was like, you know the friends you have on it or uh, on uh, if you become a YouTuber or a media personality, we get friends whom we don't even know. Yeah. Me have been having I remember in, in my in my quotas, I used to have like 3,500 quotas. 3,500 phone numbers in my phone. Out of those 3,000, I think the people within Uganda, the normal friends have been growing up with, they are not exceeding our Now the remaining ones, we are my clans, are the bigger percentage. These are the people I've been meeting on the internet. People in America, UK, people in Australia, different, whatever, from the, from the world. Now these people, they always become your friends because you are somebody or you are somebody. If you get a crack like the one I got, uh, people will not take time to first listen to you. Because I had to call some of my friends like, no, you became a thief. Yeah. We don't have time for you. Someone just blocks you off. I have a friend of mine. Uh, one day I called her, she was like, oh, she's in UK there. So like, hey man, no, 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 no. You were a thief. I don't deal with bad people. I said, I was like, Mama, why don't you listen to me also? No, I can't listen to you. <laughs> so, that's what happened to me. People had to go away. You know, I got a very bad name on myself. You see? So, uh, things were very bad on my side, that's a fact. But I had to survive alone. And in that situation, I learned a lot. Still, I'm still learning. Of yeah, course, I haven't finished my problem as of now. <laughs> but at least, yeah, at least, I'm moving. Is it? So, so far, that is what happens. If one day your name gets a crack on it or gets a problem, just know you're gonna face a crack if you don't have a support a behind you. Yeah. At some point, you are fearing to pick my calls. Yes. I was like, because <laughs> me when I saw that story, when the story started trending, I was like, Emma can't do this. You know, there's a time I would call you to get the clear view. I could just ignore. Yeah. Do you know why? What's happening? No. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I was fearing everyone. Are you know the good person? Yeah. The right person? So I was like, maybe this person can be calling me. Someone is using her mm. to get me. I'm getting it. So that's why I had to you know everyone. 
even reach an extent of talking to you, it had to take time to first get that trust that, oh, this child has no problem with me, we can have a discussion. But I had first put everyone aside because I was fearing what could be next. Never trust, like, never rely on people. Take, hoping that you can have, when you have a problem, they will be there. They won't. Most of them won't. Exactly. Apart from some few people can be there. Like I have a friend of mine called Dr. Biba Organic. Yeah. I love that guy so much. I like him like a father. Because at least for him, he was there for me. He just gave me one offer. I was like, Dr. Bani, hey, my son. Ah, man. I can't help you because you have so many problems. But let me help your mom. No, that's okay. So it was like, your mom is sick. I've been treating him. You have been influencing for my company. Because mm. I've been a brand ambassador for that company for long, you know that. Mm. If you speak Biva, the first picture in your face is Waswa Emma. Waswa Emma, yeah, exactly. If you see Waswa Emma, automatically just know Biva is behind there. So I've been loyal to that, to, to that guy because he has been a good friend to me. So what he decided to do, offered me only one thing. He was like, I'll treat your mother. Mm. Yes, he started because my mother is suffering from hiccups. Hiccups, so hiccups are very deadly. Oh, uh, so I think that one needs treat. You can treat it locally. No, it's not as easy as you think, because my mother first. My baby brother had it. Yes. He's thirteen. Right? Thirteen, but how long did it take to cure? Uh, we got some meds in local. But maybe the brother is still young, because me, I have done everything possible. The person who has tried to work on that thing is doctor. Okay, I'll also give you what I know you try it. It's okay, we shall add up. <laughs> yeah. Because he has done his best. <laughs> yeah. So somewhere, at least where it was, mm. now it is very small, whereby she can even stay for too much without having it. Mm. You see, so the guy has done a lot of... Yeah. So he offered me that one and I, let me just thank him. Dr. Miva, thank you so much for the good work you did for me. At least you've been there for me as a father, as a brother, you know, in, in, in all cases. That is it. So do you think people would have listened to you? At first, yeah, at first, people were not we are not willing to listen to me because the fires were too much. Okay, if that given you that chance to talk about yourself, they, of course, they listen to me. Of recent, mm. yeah, and now they have started. Yes, they have. This, this, uh, like this before, before, before it went this viral, uh, you think would have done something to clear? Be, now, by that time, I could have cleared it, but emotions were so high. We were in a situation where people knew the truth, mm. but they are denying it. No one was willing to accept that. He find Emma. Uh, you lost money with Emma, but Emma is is not the one who is the, the money off. Because if I'm your friend, mm. I will take people's money. People will not accept that I'm not in the deal. Mm, exactly. Not until time passes. So by that time, many people were like, "The guy knows what is happening." Many even now, my clients thought that I'm con I, I I have. A connection with my former bosses, the owners of the company. The company was called Kautara. Yeah, but at some point it was you used to advertise it as Emma Waswa. No, travels. I as I told you at the, at the beginning of the story mm. that I had my agency. Okay. My agency was a recruiting agency, a sourcing agency. Mm. Then the Kautara was the recruiting because yeah. in Uganda, if you have to want to own up a, a recruitment agency, it is expensive. You have to be having at least a hundred thousand USD. Oh, that's cool. So those ones who have the money, they start they start up those companies, but at the end of the day, they, they fail to get clients. Now they look for us, who have the numbers, who can reach to the to the local person down. Mm. Then we give them, we offer them the clients. Then you you earn depending on your commission. Yeah, the numbers depending on the number of people you provide. The number of people you provide, the contract, you know, the conditions are too many there. But everyone gets money which can satisfy you at your level. So, more, many of the people in Uganda are having agency companies whereby you source for bigger company. So, me also, mine, the WNE was an agency company whereby I could help in sourcing, sourcing then looking for those contracts from different companies. You go and ask, they give you, you put their people. Then you manage them, you follow them up. You help them in pro in processing their passports, documenting, a lot of things are being done in my office. You mm. see, monitoring them when they go. We help in different things. So that my company wasn't specific on that. That was just a segment in the bigger company. And the other sector of the company, uh, I I had cosmetics in it. It's still in in in, in, in the pipeline. 
in the same company as trying to invest in in technology i have an app a dating app mm. it's in prototype it's not yet out but so i'm trying to, to put up different investments in one company i get in it yeah. but so that one sector of labor is the only cause problem for me you see so i had to start closing up everything from that so even my media company on online is under that mm. because uh, people see me on youtube but it's a registered company where i have section of youtube and i do documentaries production you always see me buying mm, gadgets yeah, every day yeah. i used to have very many gadgets so i could rent out people i could do videos you saw some of the songs i used to produce for my artist yeah, yeah. tendo all that those ones are my production that's my company on the side of music but it all is under one thing mm. uh, one umbrella so you you know being on internet you have to be creative yeah like emma how is life currently life off camera life of camera if you're not used of it it's a hassle you know if you're in the camera life becomes easy people don't know it mm. if you're in the camera life becomes very easy we are by yeah, there are a lot of things you get almost at the free cost you can even do so if you're off camera and you're used of getting easy things it becomes so hard for you to survive because if you're in the camera someone just wakes up on one day or two Shami, yes, I love the work you're doing. Let me give you this. Let me don't you. Of course, you have worked for it. Yeah. So we get so many things become easy. Connections, friends, anything you want. If you're a, a, a public figure, it's just a call out. Whenever you call any office and you say, I'm so and so, of, hmm. person will be like, hey, this is Shami, our vlogger. They will come here. Even if you're going to any company, even if you're looking for a job, anything you want to do, as long as you have the brand. Hmm. people associate quickly with you so after testing that kind of life it's very difficult to go back in the deep end i get it yeah. so uh life out of camera if you're once in camera and you go out of camera unless you have decided that i'm not going to be back in camera you can take a decision and say from today shami vlogs i'm not coming back to camera. that can be a personal decision hmm. but if you're first yeah my friend wow it's not easy at all so life has been difficult just now i don't say anything easy but i've just learned a lot from it mm. i've learned doing some other works for example building after being a porter i started even also mixing and oh, putting that's good. so i learned some some work uh, i got experience of construction because now where i am i can also do construction i may not be building but i can manage i can i know ideas on how much i think so what do you need for this you know mm. i can manage up even the site now mm. at my level so which means that if i'm start up a construction company i can do it yeah because i know almost everything needed for construction you do your construction company and you hire people to come and do the expertise work so i have learned a lot in this situation i have learned uh, to be more creative I have learned to endure pain. I mean, I developed a thick skin. So welcome back from that short commercial break. We are learning new things here. So, Emma, take up the floor. <laughs> okay, as I told you guys, uh, we are doing the same business. So, sometimes I command the show because okay. <laughs> I'm used of commanding shows. I may end up interviewing Ivan. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I've been explaining to you, we stopped somewhere where I was trying to tell you how things have been moving. Mm. So, at least I've learned a lot of things. I have learned to survive alone. That, how do you survive in hard times? Uh, how do you live without money? People say you cannot survive without what? Money. But I'm telling you, you can live without money. At some point. Eh? You know, that, that's when I, I got to learn that sometimes lunch also is a mindset. <laughs> After being poor, yeah, exactly. I got to learn that sometimes supper, or oh, breakfast, or oh, lunch is a mindset. Why? Because I could wake up that day. There's no work on the site, maybe, and you have to to survive the whole day. Now, what you do is forget about eating. You forget about eating, then you just sit. You, you forget about eating. That's something I've had. That's what you call. Some yeah. things can be mindset. I told that after being poor, as I've been in a very bad situation, you 
you get to learn that lunch is a mindset. Mm. Uh, you wake up in the morning time, you look in your small castor, there's no sugar, there's, there's only water on that day. There's nothing to eat. So you'll be like, okay, you forget about breakfast. You take it as a mindset. Mm. In just a blink of an eye, it is lunch time. So instead of taking tea, you have decided to eat lunch, lunch once. That's to get out. I'm getting it. So that is it. Because you could wake up, and there's no money, but you could survive the whole day. Mm. You see, I had the accepted that you have to let people. If there's no food to eat in your house, don't die of hunger. I could go to the neighbors. <laughs> hey, I got the neighbor. He asked for some food. Yeah, yes. Now, mm -hmm. Nandi mm. yeah. You don't have time. There's no need for dying because of yeah. hunger. Mm. Yes, I used to befriending people around me. I became a good person to the, to the community. So they liked me. So if you just be there looking for food, someone comes in, hey Emma, have you had a lunch? I'm like, oh, it's okay. I'm going to, no, 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 no. We know you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, some people knew you don't have. By the time someone comes to you, they, know. they can be knowing, you know, you are on the site alone. There's, someone doesn't even seeing any kind of smoke coming out. So the person will come, and like at this time, last time, asks you, Emma, have you eaten? You say, you deny yourself, but the guy has been seeing you. Mm. And you're sure there's not anything in the what? You deny yourself, but they are, no, 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 I know there's no food. Let me come. The guy brings food home. You, you go with him to his home. Mm. You have something you eat, you see. Another thing, I just got to know that it's not only family that can help you. Friends. Me, I have survived much on friends, not based on family, because my family isn't well off. Yeah. They've also been having them. They are souls, they maybe they wanted to help me yeah. through the soul, but they could they never had the capacity. Yeah. Uh, it's like for us who enjoy football, you can be you, you may want to, to pick the ball through the soul. Yeah, I know. I get it. Yeah. So my family maybe they wanted to help me out, but never had the money. Because my issue was like I'm really changed person. I get I changed. Very changed. <laughs> but you are you are never bad by the way, that's the truth. So, yes, I've not been a bad person. Yeah, you've not been a bad person at all, if I can remember. So are we expecting uh -huh. Emma on YouTube? Wow. Expecting Emma again on YouTube. The most thing I've missed ever since I got these problems has been YouTube. Not YouTube but media. Anyway, I call it YouTube because me, I'm a journalist by profession, but I've never been on a TV or on a radio station at any point. The last time I was on TV, I was doing interview. So I've been using YouTube as my media house. So everyone has been knowing because of YouTube. Mm. Now, I, I've been missing uh, media so much. Why? Because me, media is, is something I do out of love. Uh, being a content creator, I can't even do it for free. The content is, is a first priority. Mm. At least I have to do it at any level. So I love teaching. That's why you see my content all about educative programs. Yeah. So I love teaching. I love giving my because I read too much and I do analysis. I, I do a lot of research. So I know so many things. I feel like if I change, I educate people, I give you knowledge about something you don't understand. I feel proud about that. Yeah. So in YouTube, of course, I'm, I have to be back. I need to be the source of income. My first source of income should be YouTube, is YouTube. For anything else, because YouTube helps me to get more money, not only my people. So, for YouTube, I just ask my people to always keep following, subscribing, and looking for me wherever I am. I'm sure they'll find you. Of course, they've been following me these days. They've accepted to give me a second chance. You know, if I did, ever since I came out and they confessed, ever since I came out and I told them what happened exactly, at least my heart was depressed like was was like cool it was cool there eh? things were like okay you know i even now started looking good yeah, I can't so others are complaining about my hair <laughs> so what are you going to do to your hair i don't know what i'm going to do for this hair mm, because now you know having hair is an, an addiction mm. so uh i found to cut it off I'm like first of all why is it long 
Because you never had that type of hair. Man, I just became tired of life. And they had to grow. That's the extent I reached him. I hated everything, even hating my life. Are you getting me? Mm. So this had to grow. Sometimes even to warm, to warm me up. For warmth. Mm. Even other thought that I had got, I had even run mad. Of reason my pits are trending that I yeah. had but no, I wasn't. But because of the situation you go through, sometimes you end up ha hating everything. So I never liked hair at the beginning. But now this hair is, has become addiction to me. I just love it the way it is. But I will cut it off, eh? Mm. I will cut it because of my people telling me to cut it off. Of course, I have to listen to them. So I will cut it off soon, eh? Mm. So, but I feel like it's just a girl cut it off. I'm going to add me some more time with this hair. Then, you know, but I'll put it off. Yeah, because if you maintain this hair, you'll still be in that misery life. Just cut it, you become a new person. Automatically, everyone, that's what everyone is telling me. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, so, since you've said like so, now you still hold that. The curse. Yeah, you still, <laughs> not the curse, I won't call it a curse. Uh, Just you still hold that pain at heart. At heart. Yeah. Of the hair, but whenever you, okay, actually, yeah. you're somewhere right. Yeah, so, it's high time I'm going to cut it off. Yeah, cut it off. I'm going to do it because very many people are complaining about the hair, even in my inbox, the man. No. Even my channel there, when I, where I sit to, to give my story, I'm like, Kale tu kwa aliriza, neye mvili zijeko, tu So I'm like, okay. So, so what advice can you give to YouTubers who try to, uh, I'm very sure a lot of YouTubers have been contacted by these travel companies, stuff like that. What advice can you give to us? I personally was contacted with some travel agents, mm. though I didn't give it a chance because I knew what was going on. What advice can you give to us who are right now on the streets of YouTube? I'm very sure a lot of people have businesses and would love to advertise them with us. How do you sort a genuine business? From a fake one. From a fake one. Wow. Now that is the hardest part. Sorting a genuine person from the heart. You know our heart say, now I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, exactly. The easiest thing in this world is deceiving. People don't think, don't know about it. For example, do you have a boyfriend? No. You don't have, but maybe you had ones. Yeah, yeah, I had ones. So, the thought about being, having a boyfriend and a girlfriend is like, she, he can call you like, hey, see that? Mm -hmm. I am okay. So, you may tell him that you're going to sleep. And he says, okay, good night, blah, blah, blah. You may end up not even sleeping. Yeah, you go somewhere else. Yet you're going for a run out or somewhere. So, do you see how you are deceiving that person? But the guy is sleeping, knowing that you are asleep. You are asleep. Are you getting it? Yeah. So, it's very difficult to get to know who is fake and who is genuine. But at the end of the day, we have to work with people. Mm. Are you going to hate everyone? No. Even amid this situation I'm in, very many companies are still contacting me to work with them. They may be genuine or not, but I've refused to work with them because I'm like, no, enough is there. It's enough. Mm -hmm. But very many of them are still genuine. Companies are there. Now, before I advise a, a YouTuber to how to get to know a real company and a fake one, I first advise the people who are there. Why do you deal with fake things? Why would you Why would you cause trouble to people? For example, my friends, those carols and uh, the counter agents. Mm. That car is my friend. Mm. I started. I even worked with her the last seven years at ABS TV when I was an intern. So I knew her very well. I got to meet. We've been working together. But now, at the end of the day, she ended up spoiling my life, ditching me down the dips. I'm getting it. So, your friend, a real friend, causes trouble for you, not even coming for rescue. She maybe, maybe had good problems in her company, but how do you rescue that person you've been working with? I'm getting it. Because when these companies, they get problems, they always keep them. Because, they also, because labor companies are. It is like, uh, how should I call it, this thing of network marketing. Yeah, network You have it. They, they are bosses mm. up to those Arab countries where people go to work for. So you can be happy. They can be seeing you, Emma, here on the phone with the company. Yet you have other people behind you mm. in different stages. So people just have to first be good to everyone. If you're a company owner, be good to me. Don't just come and spoil with the target of all intention job. Your name. My name. Or even if even if you are coming to work together, if you get problems, reach out to me. 
and see how you assist me somewhere. Mm -hmm. I believe it. But these guys end up leaving us. You, you face everything. Your name goes down. I believe it. You lose anything you have in this world because of people. All right. Before we go to the advice, you can give people. Do you think you can get justice? Because the war, like what you're trying to say, the war, after listening to you, yes, I feel like you can fight for your justice. Uh, let me tell you something. Before even I get to the problems, I got them. I tried to fight for my justice because I spent a lot of money with the security agencies to get them yeah. to at least to to arrest them. Even on the radio station that she was working from, I did my best, but I failed because all the thieves are ahead of us. Yeah. A thief is always a step ahead of you. Yeah. I'm getting it. Or a criminal. That's why you always see police people, policemen always find hard time to get criminals. Because by the time the policeman thinks about what to do, the criminal is ahead. ahead yeah. A step ahead. So, I did my best and I failed to get them. What I did was like, okay, let me get back to my people, the, the, the victims. I had to engage with them, one by one. Others were paid. Others just forgave me. Someone was like, Emma, I lost $1,000 from you. I've forgiven you. Go ahead. Because you were like, even if now I told her this fake Emma, this young boy, mm. is a useless guy. Someone will see after seeing the situation I'm in. It's like me. So everyone has just handed me in a proper way, those victims of mine. They're my friends. We always talk on phone. We are helping each other. Now I accepted the situation. That's why I requested people to give me a chance to work for myself and to keep paying my people. Yeah. You see? We, if, 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 I'm, if I'm given enough chance to work on the internet mm. and do my business, I'm able to to sustain myself and also paying, keep paying back, keep you know, keeping helping each other. Are you getting it? Yeah. So there's no justice here. You know, for us in the in the world where we stay, it's an eye for an eye. My friend, you do something bad to me, the day I get you, I'll just have to make revenge at all costs. They'll have to face it rough. Yeah. So let me just keep quiet as of now. Yeah. As life is moving on. You see, you never know when they want time. I'll yeah. get them. So Justice, I'm not seeing it, but I'll look for justice for myself. At any way. At any cost, I'll look for it. I'll get in it. Yeah, get with time. You. But before thinking about the justice from them, let me first think about how I, I get back my life. Yeah, okay. And help these people. I've been helping them to a small extent. So I'm with them, your career moving. They've given me chances to work. I'm working. Whenever you get some small, they call, you know, my friend, you know. I have some sixty dollars. Can I send it to you? Mm. You send someone. Yeah, even the friends of mine, many have donated me to me money. They have donated money. They have given me assistance. You see. So yeah, those those friends who who had left me after me confessing and coming out, giving them the truth, they had to come back, That's telling so me Emma this, Emma that. So giving me some money, helping you. Someone is just asking you now. We are Galachi, we are Ben, no Muga Martin Jagalachino. Karen Jaku will come. So that cash ball he gives you, you devise. That fifty dollar he gives you, you devise, give it to someone. I get a bit. That's how I've been surviving. So, but if I start working clearly, and business is a bug, ah, so paying is not an easy, it's not, it's not difficult. I pray everything goes on well. Things are moving. Yeah. That's why you found me when I'm okay. Yeah. So, an advice to any YouTuber there? Out. Ah, advice for YouTubers and content creators. It's just simple. Just out first love what you do. Content is all about love. Mm. You know how you have struggled with, love, with content. You have struggled. Yeah. At some point, even I wanted to give up. Yes. But it's love for it. If you focus on money, you won't get money from content at the, at the first stages. You first need to first struggle to build it up to make sure the numbers are there. If the numbers come, the money comes automatically. But if you focus on getting money from day one, then you have nothing you're doing on, on content. You just have to quit. You're in the wrong place. Mm. I'm getting it. So be good to yourself. Uh, be real. Do what you can. Don't live a fake life on internet. You see, you know, you always give a paper. It has a, percep a perception it gives to people. We always keep praising people who have been praying for. Because of the internet, 
Yet you are in a misery state, wherever you are supposed to pray for them. Help them actually. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that's how it's funny. Is. So, my simple advice is be creative, uh, consistent, uh, be real to yourself, and love what you do. Yeah. Nothing else. Alright, I guess. This is it. We are coming to an end of this interview. And you guys, thank you for supporting Shami Vlogs. Yeah. She has been growing as I've been seeing her. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> because I think um, 80% I'm 80% are my mentor on internet. So I made her because she was a good person to me also. Yeah. And she loved what she was doing. So, and I'm happy seeing her. She was like last year when I was still struggling too much in 2023. I remember you told me, yeah. this year I'm going to create content. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that. Shami, are you serious? You're going to do it. Okay, okay. Give me some of the topics. So, we've been trying our best. Then, I saw you being consistent up to Kenya everywhere. Uh, the money you have spent, you never, you, you've not even earned it on internet. I haven't, I haven't even got a quarter of it. Not even a quarter, not even adding a single penny. Not even a single penny. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the hardship you go through. Because <laughs> that money you spend on internet can even help you to build. If it was, it was a plot. You've been having a plot in company. Yeah. I would have been <laughs> So, but because of content, yeah. you'll get the money. Yeah. Don't mind. I know. So, say hi to your family, your young sister, <laughs> and Skyla. I just want to say like. thank you because at least, even amid these other troubles, mm. I at least you used to receive my calls. And I remember I used to trouble you via content as well. Yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's all the situation. You used to call me and you could yeah. talk. You yeah. could even jazz this yeah. and that and that. Because sometimes uh, there are people who are your friends. Me, if you're my friend, you're my friend. Content, content creation. There are some people who are my friends. Like uh, our president, Liam. Mm -hmm. He's my friend, a real friend. He is uh, uh, Nelly O. I just like her so much. They are my friends, real friends. There is a Larry, Fabi, you yeah. see. Uh, so the angels, very many of them, but there are those who use that resonate with me. Somebody like, Am I okay? I'm okay. Am I don't mind? It will be fine. So, so you're among those people who are, my, who are in the close circles of being my friend. There's another guy called the final channel is called Nero. He's still real calling. So that is it. Yeah, thank you. So guys, we have come to an end of this conversation. Yes. Hope you picked something. I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess for now, if you're wise enough, you know the people you're going to deal with. And make sure to deal with people who tarnish your name and spell your name. Yeah. Because we build these names, we put in a lot. And when someone just comes from somewhere within a blink of an eye and you're down. Actually, it's really in painful. all these sagas, I did mind about the man I lost. Mm. My pain was on my I know. Because building the name, my friend, I have invested a lot of money. When I was talking to one of my relatives, like, she told me, I was like, no, you guy, me, I'm not really unemployed. My problem is my name. If I can get for film in this world, I have the money. Mm -hmm. What pains me is the name I have been built in the last seven years, struggling to become a celebrity, to become a content creator, to become Mr. Samuel. So if someone spells your name, my friend, wow. It's like spoiling everything. Yeah. Because, yeah, guys, as we've told you, it's not easy to create these names. We come from far. Thank you so much for watching. Check him out. Wasa Emma. Wasa Emma. And, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Leave a sweet comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe.